I'm back here at Zoetekut, actually at the courtyard beside the church. So it may be empty now, but later on it's going to be very crowded and it can be a bit confusing because a lot of people will be squeezed here. You can see the courtyard is now filled with all the workshop participants. This is Rob Sketcherman's participants. Stephanie Bauer's participants are moving off. I'm going to follow one of the workshops later. I haven't decided yet. We have sketchers all over the streets of Amsterdam, so they're going to be pretty easy to find. We have stopped right in front of the supermarket to buy some water. The weather is going to be very hot over the next few days, so if you're here in Amsterdam, do try and drink a lot of water keep yourself cool. Nice piece of street art of Zodekut. We have another group here. I was supposed to be following Sante Saleh's workshop but they walked too fast in front and they just disappeared and this park is quite big. I was not able to find them so I'm going to go nearby the church there and check out the workshops that are closer. That's why it's very important to be punctual and also stay close to your group because once you lose your group it's very difficult to find out where they are. Finally managed to find some workshops here and it looks like there are two or three workshops around this area which is great because I don't have to move too far to find them. That's the Rembrandt building and on the other side we have another workshop as well. Rob Sketcherman's workshop is inside this cafe. Rob teaches drawing on the iPad and he has brought along his projector so that they can see what's on the screen on his iPad. We're not here to make bad drawings, but we are here to make new drawings. So just try to pick, pick up the speed a little and then back off when you need to back off. Um, are there ones here that you feel really capture the life of the things that were around us? Like, you just find one that you find pleasing. Don't pick your own. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Which one, what do you like? These ones, I like those. He's really liking them. Yeah. So what about that? It's only a bicycle. Yeah, I know. How good can it get? Right. What do you like about it? It's, well, it's kind of sloppy. <laughs> yeah, but you can totally tell it's a bicycle. It's got like the... No, the no, no, let's count these. Fine. They might not be the right number. <laughs> <laughs> So we still know that's a bicycle. Yeah. We still know it's a certain kind of bicycle. Yes. You take pleasure in seeing it that way. And again, I cut you off because I'm a bully. <laughs> well, what, how would you describe what you like about it? I like the fact, I can, I can, I don't know. I can see that the, the front wheel's like a little bit turned and the handlebars are turned. And it's like, it's like someone just dropped it there and went off the way. Yeah, it just, it just feels, it feels, it feels nice, it feels right, mm. it feels, um, it communicates something to us. It was well seen, too, right? Someone was a little more open to the personality of that bike or how it sat there, and then was able, to, luckily, with a lot of practice someday, or in previous days, able to kind of catch it, you kind of catch it, and that's really fun. <laughs> or values and whatever it's they can all be done through this small thing yeah i, I like it when, when yeah. it's small it's, it's less pressure yeah less pressure and it gives you more freedom also right right, right? Yeah. and don't don't worry about the mistakes because it's a part of thumbnail it's a part of yeah. sketching right and later on you're gonna put some little story about it you know somewhere maybe on the other side or hmm. so it's yeah. a it's something that memorable for you. 
I was wondering why they were drawing on such small pieces of paper and it turned out that this is actually the workshop for Donald Salulin from Indonesia and he's teaching the participants on how to create thumbnails, how to create snapshots and not worry too much about putting details and just draw and enjoy the moment. I'm going to get some sketching done as well. I'm going to draw the rooftops. I love those shapes. Here's a quick sketch of the rooftops before coloring. It's really good to just slow down, take a break and just sketch. Rob Sketcherman has just brought his workshop participants out to sketch the cyclists on the streets. So they are all busy drawing on their iPads. And then, it, then you know this is the ground, so make this oh, yeah. ground. Yeah, yeah. And then, then you get the right size for the tire. <laughs> so, okay, I did the bike mm -hmm. in the first layer, then when I want to move on to the second layer, then I have to plug in the second layer, right? Yeah. In order to make sure what comes next is the second layer? Yes. Okay. Or you could you could start out with setting up your layers. And you know your bike's going to be that layer, okay. and your cycles are going to be on that layer. You label them? Oh, yes. Oh, you do? Yes, I okay. do. I do. The workshops are about three hours or slightly more than three hours. So while everyone is at the workshop, I'm going to check out the sponsor booths. If I look tired, that's because I'm really tired. If you're coming to the symposium next year, I recommend you come a few days in advance so that you can rest and get over the jet lag. And also, um, it's a good way to prepare yourself, get yourself refreshed for the actual workshops. There's a lecture going on on the ground floor and I'm going to check out the art products now. This is the first sponsor booth, Kramer Pigments, which happens to be one of my favorite brands. They are only located in Germany and also Manhattan, right? Yes, we yes. have a store in New York. It's, yeah, it's very difficult for me to buy their paint because they just have it at two locations. This is Andrea from Kramer Pigments. So what are you selling here? Um, we have a watercolor set for the sketchers. Um, we have some brushes, some raw materials, and we show how to produce your own watercolor. Here you can see 40 raw materials which pigments are made of. So you have, for example, lapis lazuli, a blue stone, which is grinded, and you become a pigment like this. This is the Pan Art booth. They have been the sponsor for several symposiums and also the Asia Link sketchbook. Pan Art is a drawing app only on Android. It allows you to draw and share your work. This is the Windsor & Newton booth. So they sell watercolor, acrylic, oil, paint, brush. You should have heard of their name. They are very popular. I've been to the Windsor & Newton website and saw that there were some new colors introduced. Can you tell me a bit more about those new colors? Yes, so we reintroduced five colors that we previously had in a limited edition. Uh, and they are very bright, vibrant colors and they were brought back into the range uh, depending on the consumer demand. And the second new product that we are launching are cadmium-free colors because every artist's range um, has cadmium colors. 
and they're known for their, uh, their strength, their color strength and their opacity and you really need them if you want to make an artwork. Uh, but they contain cadmium which is not good for the environment. So we have developed a, a new color that is just as opaque and just as bright as a normal cadmium but it doesn't contain cadmium at all so it is much more sustainable. This is the Steelman and Burn booth. They have the whole range of sketchbooks here. And that's Michael from Steelman and Burn. He was telling me that one of the sketchbooks has already been sold out. So what's the sketchbook that was sold out? So this is the Nova Trio sketchbook, which we had initially come out, come out with in a wirebound size, but now had done in a square, soft cover, and it's got all three sizes of our mixed media toned papers, gray, black, and in beige. And all of them are um, double sized to support mixed media artwork. The Nova series is the series with toned paper. And this is Nova Trio, which is the one with three different types of toned paper. This is the Da Vinci booth. So they sell very high quality watercolor brushes that I've been using for many years so they are really good. This is Herman Meyer from Da Vinci. He was telling me earlier about why the Castanio was created. The market was asking more and more for more specialized synthetic fiber brushes and so we developed a hair which is imitating natural squirrel hair Kazan, squirrel hair, that's why we came to the name Kazaneo. And it's perfect for all liquid colors, and it really has a long life, and it's not as vulnerable as the natural hair. This brush has many pointed tips, so you can use this to create some special effects. This is Van Big Art Supplies. They are one of the art suppliers, art shops in Amsterdam, in Holland. So, what are some of the popular products that you have here? We have the Old Holland Ian Finelli watercolor set. Are the colors specified by Ian Finelli? Yeah. Oh, yeah. specially chosen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, that's cool. And of course, we have our own brand and our own brushes. Own brand paper. Oh, yeah. okay. They carry a lot of different brands such as Daniel Smith. Van Gogh, Sakura. There are more booths than I can cover in one day, so I'm going to continue tomorrow. These are the various locations for the public sketch walks that are happening on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. You should be able to find the information online. That's the QR code you need to scan. Lunchtime! I'm here with Anna Ili yes. and Mara yes. Fernandez. Hi! I was taking Anne Roses in the morning, yes, which I really loved. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, color first and then line. So getting your colors in and then going in with your details to finish your drawings. It's pretty cool. I know. Uh, it was very interesting. I color first too, but it's so nice to get someone to tell you how to make it all cohesive with the proportions afterwards, so, yeah. I would imagine drawing bicycles is very difficult because they are always moving, is that, is that so? Yeah, 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 but he kept, uh, he gave us advice like to borrow from different bicycles, so we're doing like a collage of parts of different cycles. Oh, okay. Can we take a look at your sketch? Yeah. I see all the bicycles are of different colors. Yes, yeah, and he also like, uh, some have like bags and stuff, so cute. So how was the symposium so far? Is it smooth? It was smooth, it felt smooth. Um, we're a bit tired, so we, we will have a night's sleep and tomorrow we will be back. Um, but we see that everyone is enjoying themselves, oh, yes, so that's, yes. that's great. That's amazing. I'm also enjoying amazing. myself. I found a sketchbook today. Did a lot of people find lost and found stuff? Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah, there was uh, quite some lost and found, oh, some sketchbooks. Okay. Yeah. And people can pick it up at the reception. So yeah. if you lose something, go to the reception and uh, ask for the item that you lost. Yeah. And also, um, earlier in the morning, 
they mentioned that the Urban Sketches Instagram page is reaching 200,000 subscribers, followers very soon. So if you are not subscribed or if you are not following their Instagram page of Urban Sketches, do so and maybe on Saturday we will be able to reach 200,000 followers. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Alright, so that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and thank you, Ruth. Thank you. Yes, see you guys again awesome. tomorrow. Bye. Having dinner here with some of my friends from Singapore, Hong Kong, and London. And where are you from? US. US. And this here is Hello. Ben again. Again. <laughs> yeah. We have lots of great food here. So after dinner, we found out that some of the ladies, they were seated in front of the radiator, which was not turned oh. off. <laughs> Yeah, so and they were very hot. And today is 37 degrees, right? And today is 37 degrees, so they are they were <laughs> very <light>. hot. <laughs> but the good thing is, because they are very hot, now they come out, they are now cooler. <laughs> but me, who is not seated in front of the radiator, now I'm hotter. <laughs>